I'm gonna answer you a specific question. You guys ready? Good. Have you guys ever been attacked from someone for saying an opinion? Yes? No? Maybe? Kind of? Well, obviously, some of us have. And other people have been attacked for loving Xbox and hating PlayStation, and these are They may be called console fanboys, but in reality, here's the truth. They're officially called console haters. Of course, we have the Nintendo fans, the PlayStation ponies, and the 20th century Xboxes, which nowadays Xbox fans are just chill. Including the PC fans, they're included as toxic haters as well. Here's the truth I'm gonna tell you. People that are bashing on consoles, including the ones we absolutely love and have our own opinions for, here's the truth. They don't even have the console themselves and they're just throwing schmiss information about them so people can believe them. I'm sorry to say it, but it's true. The truth is, people are hating on those consoles, mainly to piss off fanboys, well, toxic fanboys if it's a joke, and they're including making other people feel bad. Like, for example, someone has the Xbox and saying PlayStation's horrible, or even vice versa, PlayStation ponies literally try to cancel people for saying that Xbox is better than PlayStation. But here's another truth. You can't review the product Unless, if you actually tried it out for yourself, and played it yourself. The truth is, those haters that are hating and bashing on these consoles don't even have the console themselves if they review it. So you can't actually review a product if you have a product. I myself has officially played on a PlayStation 5 before and tried out the new Spider-Man game. And let me tell you, holy crap, it was a masterpiece. But does that make me want to attack other people for saying the PlayStation is better? Short answer, never. Mainly because I have an Xbox 360 of my own that I've played ever since I was little and I loved it ever since. And also, I love Xbox as well. As for Nintendo, well, you guys know what I'm gonna say. I have almost other consoles. I may be a Nintendo fan, but on my YouTube channel, I don't just focus on Nintendo-related stuff all the time. I also love Spider-Man, who is also a part of Sony, which is still jarring, but I have to get used to it. But yeah, Spider-Man's a part of Sony. As long as Sony doesn't screw up his franchise too much, it should be fine. Well, probably not ever since then, but yeah. I myself also do Transformers videos as well. I myself had the Xbox 360 version, and I met a bunch of online players that I made friends with ever since. Even played Minecraft Xbox 360 with them, one of my favorite Xbox 360 games of all time. Building together, playing with each other online, you name it. Now a lot of people always argue that PlayStation is better, Xbox is better, Nintendo's better, but do you want to see a truthful fact? And want to see some other facts? Let me show you. Let's take a trip back three years ago. We are most powerful when we come together, united by our common love for the art form of games. And gamers around the globe to celebrate creativity, innovation, and the role that video games play in popular culture. Together, we will continue to invite new voices, creators, and players into our worlds, because when everybody plays, we all win. Because when we see the strength of the United Gaming community, we remember that we've never seen a challenge that you can't defeat. Yes, that was real. That was legit real. All of it. That was all entirely real. Now sure, even though that was back in 2018, here's another fact. Back in 2017, PlayStation did congrats Nintendo for the launch of the Nintendo Switch. Xbox officially said to the people in our reply saying PlayStation better, the best console is one you enjoy playing. Have fun. Xbox has a good powerful point. Oh, and Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo did support the Black Lives Matter hashtag. 
They even teamed up to bash on Activision Blizzard that time. Mario and Sonic are actually friends in reality rather than enemies. Truthfully, an interesting fact, if Mario never exist, we wouldn't have this guy in our culture as well. But that's a whole other topic I'll explain at a later date. But it's the truth. The console wars is already dead. The console haters are just pathetic and spread out mis misinformation. And in reality, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo are actually friends while PlayStation ponies, the Nintendo fans, and even the Xbox, 20th century Xbox fans are really dumb to even realize that they are pretty much fans. But yeah, for me, I love all three of them, including PC. So in reality, the console wars themselves are already dead and PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo are actually BFFs in reality. It's the truth. Hope you guys liked this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So peace out.